Hello guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to use Python listening to Coinbase market data for free. For those who don't know, Coinbase is a major crypto exchange in the US that you can buy and sell major coins such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin. Today we will use a Python library called WebSocket Client to listen Coinbase market data via its WebSocket feed. So to do so, first we have to install WebSocket Client. Uh, you can in Windows machine you can go to your command prompt and type in pip install WebSocket underscore client and hit enter. If you are using Mac or Linux machine and you also using Python three, uh, you want to use pip three instead. So once you install the WebSocket Client library, we can go to your text editor. Uh, here we are using VS Code. I already created a file named Coinbase uh, underscore data dot pi file for this tutorial purpose. Let me maximum the window and zoom in a bit. First, we can import the WebSocket library. Let's say import WebSocket, and we also want to import JSON for later sending and receiving messages from the WebSocket. To use the WebSocket listening to the market data, we first need to know where the endpoint is, which means where we get the, the market data from. And in the Coinbase API page, it has listed the WebSocket feed, the endpoint address for you to subscribe to its market data. So let's copy this address and go back to your text editor and create a variable called, let's max this out called socket equals to the endpoint address that are listed from their website. Then we can create a WebSocket client to listen the market data from the endpoint address. So let's call it ws equals to WebSocket dot WebSocket app and parentheses. So in the parentheses, you first need to pass in the socket, which is the endpoint that you want to subscribe the market data from. And then you also have to define callback parameters such as on open, on close, on message for each of the callback events. In on open event means when the when we open the WebSocket, what to do? In the on message event means when the message comes in, what do we do? We use functions as a handler to handle each of the callback events. The function is called each time when WebSocket is called. Let's first create on open parameter and its handler function. Let's say on underscore open parameter equals to on open and end the parentheses. Let's create a on open function here. Let's define on open parentheses. Each of the callback will also receive a couple of the parameters. In on open, it will receive the WebSocket itself as well. So let's pass in the WS in the parameter field. Oh, seems I have a typo in here. Let's uh, correct this very quickly. Once the socket open, we can say print the socket is opened. To run your WebSocket client, uh, you can simply type in ws dot run forever and parentheses. Let's run this code. Well, seems to uh, zoom in too much. Let's zoom out a bit. It shows the socket is opened, but we are not doing anything here since we are not sending anything to the Coinbase WebSocket. So let's subscribe to its channel for the market data. Let's quickly close this out. In order to receive the market data, we need to send the request to the WebSocket to ask for the market data. To do so, Coinbase WebSocket endpoint listens request in JSON format. Let's create one in here. In the in the on open function, let's uh, create a variable named subscribe message equals to a dictionary, and we type in key type subscribe. And we also want to pass in channels and it's a list. In the list, we use a dictionary to define the name is a is a ticker and also product IDs. We want to 
in in the product ID field, you can pass in multiple product that you want to subscribe to. In here, uh, we can put in the list to subscribe BTC, which will represent to Bitcoin price to USD. And let's and the, and the word bracket has just a closed out. Once you created the subscribe message that you want to send to the WebSocket in order to get the marked data, you have to send above message to Coinbase WebSocket. You can you can write wh.send json dumps to convert the subs subscribe message variable Python dictionary to a JSON format and send to the WebSocket. Let's run this code. We see the result is still shows the socket is open, but it's not giving us any mark data. The reason is because we didn't create a handler for handling the mark data when it comes back. This is when the on message function comes in place. So let's close this out and create on message function. And in the on message function, the callback will receive also receives the web web socket itself and the message. Once we received message, we can simply just print the message out, which will be a JSON format as well. We have to pass the own message parameter in your in your client. Own message equals to your own message, and let's run it. Now you can see all the mark data comes in. And to quickly just read it, you can see type is equals to ticker and I give you the sequence number. The product ID is the Bitcoin USD and uh, the current price and also give you the open. It's uh, kind of like flashing my eyes. It also gives you the, the price, open, volume, trade ID, the last size, also buy or sell for this ticker. Let's close it for now. In here, we are only subscribing to one ticker, which is the Bitcoin price. You can also do to subscribe multiple tickers, such as the Ethereum and the Litecoin. Let's say I want to subscribe to the Ethereum price as well. You can simply type in ETH-USD in the product ID list and save the, the file and run the code again. Uh, you, now you can see the Ethereum price has come in and also the Bitcoin price. And let's stop here for now. You can see the Bitcoin price is this row and the Ethereum price is this row. And the Ethereum, the current price is $1,500. One thing you need to remember is the, the message here is also in JSON format. So to, in order to do the data manipulation or data processing, you may want to convert this to a Python dictionary format. So to do so, you can simply type, cur uh, you can define current data variable equals to JSON dot loads and pass the message in and print out the current data. Let's run the code again. Now you can see all the callback result. The mark data feed are in Python dictionaries. And let's stop here for now. We can copy over a couple messages for analysis purpose. Let's just uh, paste in here. Close this. Let me break this down to multiple rows. Now you can see all the fields that has been returned back from the callback. It shows it gives you the product ID, price, open volume for 30 days, best B, best S, time, the site, which is uh, either buy or sell, and also the timestamp that this event was triggered. Many people would ask what are required fields info or information you, sh you need to send to Coinbase WebSocket in order to get the marked data you want. So mandatory fields are the channels and also the product IDs that you want to subscribe to. The full field you can send to Coinbase WebSocket, you can go to their WebSocket page and look up. I will paste the link below.
and here you should be able to see the subscribe section and see this is all the information that you can send to Coinbase WebSocket which include the channels, the product IDs, um, the channels you can also subscribe to level 2 or the heartbeats. For my example I ignore these two since uh, it will receive a lot of unnecessary information from its WebSocket. For this data result, you can do many things with the mock data from the Coinbase. You can write the data to your own database in real time to do your own data modeling. You can also build your own candlesticks with the open, high, low, close data and trigger your trading strategy. Or building your own home crypto app by using this free data. If you still don't have Coinbase account, you can use the referral link below to register one. If you use the link below, we can both get a $10 worth Bitcoin if you buy or sell $100 of crypto in Coinbase. That's it for today's video. Thank you for watching and please feel free to leave any comment if you have any questions. And please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.